In eastern Ukraine, society begins to degrade as the effects of propaganda and manipulation begin to surface in this post-truth era. This film was made four years ago, but the war in Ukraine has given it a new urgency. At the time of its original release, the conflict in eastern Ukraine was not high on the world's priority list. Because of the Russian aggression, this film has been released again, a good thing, because not only the current affairs are a reason to go see this movie. It is a very good film in its own right. It consists of short vignettes, loosely related, some surreal, some very shocking, and some even funny. The central theme in each of them is the absurdity of the situation in the Donbass region. I write situation because what the film shows is not an outright war. Corruption, abuse of power and lawlessness are as much a problem as violence. Sometimes the scenes are reminiscent of the films by Roy Anderson, the Swedish master of minimalist absurdism. But there are also Fellini-like situations with over-the-top characters contrasting the bleak reality of everyday life in an occupied territory. Apart from the originality, two other things really stand out. The acting and the cinematography. Some of the scenes look like mini-documentaries, not at all like scripted movie scenes. Romanian cinematographer Oleg Mewtwo shows how effective very long takes can be, sometimes with a camera on the shoulder, sometimes without any camera movement. The very last scene consists of one single extended shot. It is a masterclass in understated filmmaking, Don Bass, the 2018 film by Ukrainian director Sergei Loznitsa, filmed by Oleg Mewtwo. Making a film about a violent conflict while this happens is no easy task. One of the most difficult obstacles is to prevent the film from becoming primarily a propaganda vehicle for one side or the other, and I will put aside the question of the historical or contemporary rightfulness of the causes of the conflicting parties. From start, Sergei Loznitsa leaves no doubt as to the side of the conflict in which he finds himself, using the official Ukrainian names of the regions in which the action takes place. There is a symmetry in the sequences that open and close the film, which have as characters a film propaganda team whose mission is to stage attacks with alleged victims on the separatist side. Death, however, is always present. The victims are real and the participants in the staging are not spared either. The constant coexistence with danger, bombings and explosions, degradation of life conditions and war damage are unknown to most people in Europe, Donbass brings them to our attention and reminds us that this is a region of the continent. Even if on its periphery today. In hindsight, the exposition seems prophetic, perhaps not to those who pay attention to the lessons of history, but Loznitsa's attention is directed to the people, to yesterday's neighbors now separated by history, propaganda, conflicts fueled by fake news, corruption and violence.